right, here we are for race number five of the HFG Transatlantic Triple Crown Series. This is going to be a very, very exciting race. It's going to be intense. Uh, we got rain the whole time, heavy rain. Practice has been tough for everybody, lots of spinning. Um, this is going to be a battle of who can spin the least. So this should be a really good one. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. And let's get to the, uh, to the beginning of the broadcast. Seventh is Kurt Bradbury. Eighth is Drew Matthews. Green light. Go, go, go. Here we go. The lights are green. It's a genuine drag race to first corner. Ooh, it's tight. And Leon gets by. Jitsu tucks in behind. I am so nervous for T1. T1 is going to be very interesting. Visibility is close to zero, and T1 is going to be a gridlock when we get to it. So let's see how this goes. We made it through T1. <laughs> Not sure how, but we did. Drew's moved up two positions. It looks like Drew's catching up uh, to um, the first five here a little bit. Gaining a little ground. Looks like Holbert and Harris have dropped back behind a few of the GT4s. Uh, Cross has actually gotten in front of Darren Brett. We got uh, Drew passing uh, Gar here right now. Looks like he's made the move there. Yep, just made it on that turn. a little different about the race as compared to practice is during the race there's a lot more cars on the track so there's already a drawing line starting to form and that didn't happen during practice so that's why a lot of people were struggling is because everywhere was wet whereas now there is at least a dry line up with him here. There he is. Yeah, he's got eight seconds behind and nine seconds ahead, essentially. Yeah, it looks like Davies is in the pits. Um, he's taken an early pit at 10 laps with 55 minutes, 53 minutes to go. Um, I wonder if he's going to try to undercut
so the person who was closest to me, the person who was uh, in fourth overall, uh, spun, it looks like. And now the person who is in fourth is 20 seconds behind. So that is good. That is good news. A little bit less stress. I was starting to lose time to the other driver who is in fourth. Uh, they were gaining on me. Not by much, but uh, over the course of a couple laps, they had gained a few seconds. So they were definitely catching up to me. But now they have spun, and it is somebody else. So uh, I guess we'll see if that person is catching up to me. But even if they are, I mean, 20 seconds behind, uh, that's that's a pretty big gap. So hopefully, I just can keep being consistent and get us to the finish. Matthews is hanging in there in third. Let's check in with him. He's probably having a lonely race at this point. That oh, looks like he's got the Springbuck car of Chris Davies in front of him. Uh, but he is a lapped car, so he's also already been to the pits, and Matthews has not. So, um, curious if Chris is going to let him by, or he'll be able to pull away. Remains to be seen currently. Right now they're rubber banding a bit through the turns. And Curto is in the pits now. Which means Cross will get by him. Nothing's getting a little squirrely there. Looks like yeah. he's heading into the pits. Yeah, okay. it sure does. Let's find somebody else here. Behind Gar. Ten seconds behind Gar. And in front of Hall. Now the trick is here is Cross has gone to the pits. Hall has not gone to the pits yet. So the gap here is 47 seconds, which is not long enough for a pit stop. So we'll see. I have to see how Hall manages this. If he's going to stay on his tires the whole time and just go up and down, or if he's going to change tires or do anything of that sort. This should be an interesting end to this GT4. Uh, Absolutely top three here <clears throat> and if I'm not mistaken Indrez is still not pitted so I'm curious about what's going to happen when that happens yes and I don't believe Bradbury has pit either um, so yes it is going to be 
Wait, interesting. Wait, juicy at the end here. For sure, it's gonna be a dramatic last 20 minutes or so here in the race. All right, so Matthew should have his tires up to temp now. He's had a lap and a half to get him going, so now we'll see if he can make any gains on Gar. from Hall, so that's important. And a little distance. In, yeah, he is in a slower car, so it's important to uh, make sure you can pull that gap. Oh, it looks like Halbert's made another mistake that last lap. He's looks like Matthews is slowly, slowly chipping away here. just behind some lap traffic uh, containing Holbert and Harris not too far ahead. So he's going to have to neg negotiate these cars just with the same as Gar has. So we'll see how that works out for him. Three people that need to pit in the front. Enderez is probably going to be safe from Drew, but Bradbury and Gar are not, and Enderez pulls in the pits just as I say that. All right, so you go. So we'll see what happens here. All right, if my calculations are correct, which they might not be. Uh, I am going to be very, very close on the fuel. So I have started trying to save a little bit, and it is obviously hurting my lap times, but better to have hurt lap times than run out of fuel. So that is what is going on right now. Now, if you've watched this before, you know that Drew and... Uh, Drew Matthews and Leon were battling through Misano in the wet, but it was a dry wet. Um, it wasn't fully wet the whole time. And uh, right on the last lap, Matthews got passed for first by oh. Leon because of the the cup car's top speed is just a bit, just a hair more. Um, so it's good to see him still fighting up in the front, though, being that he's potentially going to be in second in class. Out on the right. Clear on the right. All right, I just ran my personal fastest lap while trying to save fuel. So um, I don't know if that's good or bad. We have Matthews in fourth. Bradbury just pit and so he will easily take third position as long as he maintains. This 
long as he can maintain, he's got it. Looks like he's back out of the pit now, or headed out. Yep. He's got the entire straight ahead of... Uh, between Matthews and Gar, so... Drew is on for a podium today, as long as he can maintain that gap. Alright, the car that was in third is in the pits, and I just passed him. So I am back into third overall and second in my class, I believe. And there was second overall spun out, so I am now second overall, also second in my class. The thing is, though, I still don't know if I'm going to make it on field. Looks like uh, we currently have um, Drew Matthews in second position right now. Yep, it looks like Leon had an off for whatever reason. So now we're going to have quite a... Uh, the nerves are going to be high for five minutes. Sure. Drew's doing all the right things, staying off the curbs. Doesn't want to upset the car in any way at this point. He's got a 15 second, 16 second lead over Bradbury. He's just, just cruising around now. Sure. As long as he continues to play it smart, he'll definitely have that podium, which is good news for Drew. Okay, now that we've gotten a little closer to the end, I do think we are good on fuel, uh, even if we do like what would technically be an extra lap. Uh, so I think I think we're okay. <laughs> I hope. All right, it looks like we are going to do at least one more lap after this. Um, but I've got 7.3 liters of fuel, and two full laps would take 6.2 liters of fuel, roughly, uh, as long as I keep doing the same thing that I've been doing, the same fuel saving techniques. So. That should mean that we're good. And we will be able to finish this out with a second overall. I'm still nervous though. <laughs> All right, it is now, we are about to start. It is officially the final lap. I have got 4.5 liters of fuel. So that is, I would say official that I'm going to make it. So I am very glad that I saved fuel though, because I was saving like point 05 a lap, which is actually maybe a little more than that, maybe like 0.1 a lap, which is quite a bit. So that adds up, and I don't think I would have made it to the finish line if I had not started saving fuel when I did. So that was a good choice there. That's the line for the win. And then we'll have Matthews, who's currently heading towards Parabolica. In the parabolic canal. Nice and smooth now as you please. Curve. We are going to finish second with a liter and a half left of fuel. What a race. I'd say that deserves some donuts and I've got just enough fuel for it. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider dropping a like and maybe even subscribing. Uh, the next ACC video will be from the final race of the HFG Triple Crown series. 
Uh, it is a night race at Silverstone, so it should be quite exciting. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe so that you can see that when that video comes out. And uh, hopefully I will see you then. Until then, have a good one and peace out.